DBMS, Database Management Systems. Now, a database management system makes it possible for end users to create, read, update, and delete data within a database. The DBMS essentially serves as an interface between the database and users okay, or application programs, ensuring that data is consistently organized and remains easily accessible. So what that first paragraph is essentially saying is, we have a database and we have a user who wants to access the database. Okay, The database management system is software that allows the database to be accessed by the user. Okay, So the actual database itself is a separate entity to the database management system. We can use a whole variety of different database management system software to access a specific database. Okay, But usually we would set it up with one. But that data is independent. Okay, and it can be moved from database to database. Okay, but it helps and makes a user's life easier to use DBMS software in order to access the database and do things such as create, read, update, and delete data from database records. Okay, so the DBMS is perhaps most useful for providing a centralized view of data that can be accessed by multiple users from multiple locations in a controlled manner. Okay, it is likely that this database, okay, for an information system would be stored on a network, okay, whether it be a centralized or distributed model, okay, but multiple users would be accessing different records all at the same time, and the DBMS helps us do that. It can limit what users can see as well as what the users can do with the data, providing many views for a single database, such as views such as the form view for entering data, a table view for seeing an overview of a whole variety of records, querying views for running searches through the database, and then reporting views for printing off information for us to use outside of the database. Users and software programs are free from having to understand where the data is physically located and on what type of storage media it resides on because the DBMS handles all this stuff. Okay, so we don't need to know the back end of the database. All we do as a user is interact on this front end through the database management system. Okay, and that allows us to obviously look for the information we need to find, run our queries, set up the appropriate views and enter data into the system. We don't need to know what's happening behind the scenes. So let's take a look at a piece of software which could be considered a database management system. Here is an example of a database management system in the form of Microsoft Access, which is a great starting point for getting to understand and using databases. So what we're looking at here is my first view, and this is what's known as a table view. And you can see I've got a whole variety of different things here open on my left. Okay, and this table view gives me an overview of all the records in a specific database that I have stored here on my database management system. Here I've just got a few made up. With dummy data these aren't real addresses or real date of births or anything okay and you can see i've got myself included so the database management system automatically every time i enter in a new record assigns an id number and it always says you've got to have a primary key which it automatically sets a specific number for because remember that's got to be your unique number for each individual record okay it doesn't always have to be specifically a number either okay so that's one element here but then where can we go from here this is where we get to see the power of the database management system if I go create, I've got quite a few options that come up here. I've got what's known as queries, forms, and reports. Okay, they all help me out in different ways, okay, especially when wanting to view specific data. Firstly, I'll look at the form, and you can see I've pre made these already over here on the site. If I go to the form view, I can actually view a specific record on its own in a more, I guess, eye pleasing manner. Now, forms are great for viewing, obviously, an individual record, but what we really want to do with forms as well is enter in new data okay and you can see when i get to the end of my record so it's got here record seven of seven it's already got the license id highlighted because it will automatically assign a primary key for that in that number and i can enter in a new record here obviously gives me space to add in large amounts of information and particularly in this address field too where i might be going multi-line the form view is optimal then the next view we'll look at is the query view. Okay, and you can see I've run a query here and it was based on surnames that start with C and returned three of my records there. So I ran that query and if I actually go into the nuts and bolts of my query and go into the design view, you can see it had a query by example setup where I actually typed in just C and used the wildcard asterisk. And that's what actually returned, if I click on run here, those three records are so all the last names that started with C. Now, when you do a query of a database, you usually want to do something with that data that you just queried and got back. So then the final view I look at here is actually the, so the final view I'll actually look at here is what's known as the report view. And as you can see, I've already made a report here. 
Okay, based on the data I queried, I could print that off and then actually look into all the last names and start with C if I had a purpose for doing that. Okay, so all of this is set up by the database management system. So you can see I can actually, obviously, through my table view and through my form view, create and edit my records. But then I can also use queries to search my records. And then I can use reports to output my records, which obviously then can be print it off okay for me to use outside the database management system so i hope this has given you an introduction to the advantages of using a database management system and obviously the tools available and the different views available for manipulating editing and updating data